Hey, what's going on guys? Uh, today I'm, uh, I wanted to show you the improvements that have been done to the uh, linear pattern tool and also the polar pattern tool of the uh, part design workbench. So here I have a few uh, little example file and um, I can show you the new tool. So let's select the pocket uh, in the tree and cl click on um, linear pattern. Okay, so this is a new interface and for comparison uh, this is FreeCAD 1.0 and uh, so let us go here in the tree, select uh, this and then wait a moment, there is so many toolbars here let's uh, do something like that okay and then now linear pattern. Okay, so this is the current 1.0 interface for um, the linear pattern tool and let me reduce that so we can see Astocad as well. So this is by the way the uh, the Astocad branch of FreeCAD. So for those who don't know it's like um, an, an improved version of FreeCAD on which I build uh, features and I basically sell this version of FreeCAD. So and the new linear pattern is one of those new features. So <coughs> the first, uh, the, the previous uh, linear pattern tool had, um, had a few limitations. First, it had only one direction, so you could not specify two directions. If you wanted to make a, two li a, a rectangular array, uh, you would need to use the multi-transform tool, right? So, which is more complex, so for newcomers, maybe more intimidating. Uh, so the first thing is that in the new version I introduce like two directions. So you can still use the linear pattern into the multi-transform tool. That's still okay. But why mo most of the time, if you just want a, re a rectangular pattern, you can just use a linear pattern, right? So that's the first the first change, I guess. So this uh, task box has been removed because it does not bring much information and also it's mostly it's mostly shown on the screen like what is actually happening so instead of this uh, box here and that takes too much space I just print in the uh, status bar right if there is any meaningful information but the okay and then the next feature the next improvement is those radio buttons. They they were not very clear to me, right? Transform body or transform tool shapes. So basically what that means is that if you select transform body, it will transform the whole body, right? It will, and then it will merge them together. And if you try click this one, it would just uh, transform the shape that you selected. So I initially selected the, um, you know, the um, the hole here. So it's basically doing a pattern of this hole. But as you can see, also there is a bug because here it's not listed, even though it's apparently taking into account. Let us try again because it's kind of weird. But yeah, you can see that there is al already a bug here. Oh, now you have pocket. Okay, if, so if you change here and change back, then it's uh, it's it's gone and so you, can, you need to click add feature and then you need to go in the tree and select the feature that you want and then and then why is it still not here okay so you so you get the point the the, the tool you can see is already broken and i don't even understand why it's Maybe it's because it's not uh, separated. Let, let me put that here. Uh, just add feature, you, you select the pocket. Yeah, so it, it, it used to work. That's a bit strange. Well, that's, that is, uh, that is, main freaking uh, version right now so okay let, let us skip ahead this bug and just make the 
because it changes obviously so in the new version we don't have this bug and then you have like direction reverse direction mode you have overall length and offset basically offset means the distance between each iteration yeah so an update view okay so update view is still here and you can see uh, this first thing here it changed quite a lot so basically I think it makes more sense like only specific feature so if you uncheck this it's the whole body right and if you s check this only specific feature then e you can select what feature you want to to pad right so if you want to pad the pocket then you just pad the pocket and basically this list will show you all the mm, all the um, features that can be used in the linear pattern of uh, this body right Okay, so this is like one small improvement here for of the UI. And now um, about the tool itself, you can see that um, so the UI is a bit more polished, like you have a go box and the reverse button here, but that's something small. And now the mods, you see now it's extend or spacing. And basically it's, this is just rewarding, right? It's just re rewarding. Uh, offset and overall length so that's not important but what is nice is that if you choose sp spacing now you can actually make custom spacings like you can you can make more complex spacings so for example let's say you have seven let's put something like this now you can add spacing and have like spacing mm, patterns so let's say you want to have five and then you see now you have first 10 then 5 10 5 10 5 and so on so that's that's a new feature that is not in in the previous version and you can also do it in two directions right so um, if you have here let's put 10 and the same if you use the spacing version you can also specify more spacings right and you can add more spacings so here you see it's f uh, 10, 5, 10, 10, and so, and so on, and you can delete them and so on. So you can make uh, spacing patterns, which is one of the new features, right? And let's say, you, let's, let's say we, we don't use it. Oh, well, actually we can also use it and use also the other feature. Let's put five here and let's put a bit more so that it looks more, okay. and. The second feature um, that has been introduced uh, does not have a UI in the task box yet because it's uh, not so obvious to to add um, to add um, uh, a UI for this. But basically, you can uh, customize the spacings. So let's say you want the first spacing for example or maybe the second spacing to be something else then here you can put 20 for instance and press ok then you need to recompute the object but you see you can override specific spacings and it, this lets you create like more complex also um, patterns where you have like where you can basically customize the spacings so if you have like you if you want to improve I increase here well basically it gives you more control it's a feature that i ran that i needed mm, in the past and it was not available so ideally uh, later i will try to find a way in the ui to implement also this because uh, currently you need to go to the uh, you see this the property and change the property directly here which is not ideal so ideally I want to find a way to make it available in the UI and I'm thinking maybe to have some kind of uh, you know spin boxes or labels between each occurrence of the of the feature and then you can double click it and, and change it maybe so <coughs> yeah so that's for later but uh, at least now you can already use the feature in the um, in the in the uh, property panel right and also in the um, for the direction too as well you can specify it so that's 
Uh, that's about it for the linear pattern and now uh, the polar pattern has also changed a little bit but not as much well i guess you also you have um, the same features as the linear pattern basically if you use the spacing then you can change <coughs> you can change the um oh but this um let's see this um feature here is maybe not ideal for this spacing let's try it down let's remove that why i do why i don't oh because it's in the middle i guess yeah it's probably in the middle let's see yeah right so that's why it's not working so let's put the this um, feature here for, for example and now if i select it and i make yeah, no, now it's working. Okay, so now if I use sp spacing, maybe we put 20 degrees and a few, few iterations, then it's the same thing. You can also specify like a, a special pattern, right? You can specify a special pattern, you can have more. And you can also, also change like, you can customize the spacings, right? So if you want to customize one spacing, let's say in the middle here for example so that would be the one two three four five six seven eight so you ch you can change it to 14 maybe and then recompute and you also have you see this customized spacing right so this is uh, and and yeah you have the same improved ui for for this tool or tool as well so that's it. Uh, thanks for watching. And yeah, for those who don't know Astocad yet, it's uh, yeah, it's basically an improved version of FreeCAD that I'm. It's like a, a fork of FreeCAD that I'm always rebasing on main FreeCAD, and that I just keep ahead of FreeCAD a little bit with new features such as this, this one. Um, yeah, so a lot of cool stuff, and the interface, as you can see, has also a lot of. Uh, interesting stuff going on so if you're interested uh, please consider checking it out it's it's not very expensive right it's maybe it's four euro per month but it's uh, basically so that i can make a living and work full time on freecad and in the end i will push all my features into freecad right so you're basically supporting the development of freecad i guess so that's about it uh, thanks for watching and uh, have a good day bye bye